Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello, welcome to Amshatag. Today we are discussing the CSS uh, uh, designing for in regard with SAP scripting. So how we can change the CSS of any uh, any particular object like uh, button, like uh, our chart, like our slider, or like our uh, drop down box, and so many. So let's uh, begin. First of all, we have to create a class CSS class uh, in the global setting. Let's uh, move on. First, go to the outline. Here it is. Now, previously, previously, the CSS class was creating uh, right here under the canvas uh, uh, canvas option, but now as uh, SAP has been changed its uh, setting and now it's placed at the global setting option. So now here a button which is the added CSS button is lying here. We just have to click on this button added CSS and now it's redirected to the scripting of CSS. First of all we have to create a CSS class as we have discussed earlier. Uh, the CSS class uh, will create by using the dot and then my button CSS. I just uh, named my class to the my button CSS. You can also uh, write at your own and then we have to press space. After that, we have to press the dot and then code completion. When you will uh, use the code completion, the SAP will give many option for CSS editing. Here you can find each and every uh, CSS, uh, CSS API which will benefit you and all the information about each, uh, uh, each API, you can find the reference of SAP SAC scripting. So I use here uh, because I am changing the, the, the CSS of my button. So I use the SAP-custom-button uh, API. Here it is, now use curly bracket. Here, when I again press the code completion, the SAP will provide all the related functions uh, method of this uh, uh, API. Here we can change the background color properties, border color properties, color of font, color of the uh, font, and the font family. We can change. We can change font size. We can change font style and font weight. And the last but not least, text direction, text decoration. So I change uh, first the border, the background color of uh, uh, my button then colon and then the background color will be the uh, will be the red and then complete the statement uh, a statement colon Here it is now I again use uh, code completion and now I change the property of border color that is that will be the green And now again, I change the property of uh, the font uh, uh, font color. That will be the black. Sorry, that will be the black. Here it is. Now just save this this uh, our CSS class. Control S. After this, we just have to copy the name of the CSS class and then we have to go to our page and then whichever uh, button we have to apply, just uh, uh, I want to apply my CSS class to this button and then go to its styling. And here the option 
of CSS class name, I will paste my copy it as CSS class name and then press enter. Here it is. Now you can observe that the uh, that the background color of the button has been changed and the color of the font is also been changed to the uh, black. In this way, we can change the, all the CSS properties of each and every object uh, and uh, you can find the detail of each and every uh, API, CSS API to the reference page like uh, this. Just go to the Google and write here a SAC scripting reference and then click on the analytical designer API reference guide. Here you can find all the reference of uh, each and everything uh, regarding analytic designer API. Just uh, and if you want to find the uh, regarding the CSS information, you just have to type the CSS. The system automatically filter out all the things which relate to the CSS cascading style sheet. As you know, the CSS is mainly used for designing and the uh, attracting layout. Of, uh, of of our page, of our HTML page, of our or any other application uh, page, we use CSS mainly. So uh, here we can find uh, with regard to the application, we have the get CSS class, we have the get global CSS class, we have the set CSS class. Let's click on the set CSS class. Here it is. Now we can say we can say uh, we can. Uh, use the set CSS class uh, in this syntax that we have to use the set CSS class and in the bracket we have to use the name of the uh, CSS class which we want to apply. So if I want to uh, change any uh, any uh, uh, CSS class of any button so we have to write uh, this uh, to the uh, to the scripting of uh, the CSS. Hope you learned something new regarding the CSS cascading style sheet formatting in this video. If you like this video, do click on the like button and also uh, subscribe to my channel if you are new. Let's meet into another new video. Till then, bye bye, take care.